Good morning, welcome to a morning review on Friday the 16th of January. This is Kim Watson speaking for Easy Trader. Okay, looking at the pound dollar first, and uh, yesterday we saw ma mainly a sell off and um, quite a bitty old day. It's uh, consolidated now um, around the uh, lows here um, uh, of yesterday. Um, there, is, there is a chance if we see a break of the lows that we could see a continuation back down towards that 150, uh, 800 area. Um, a push up to the upside, well, that could we could see uh, yesterday's highs uh, as a target. So, it, but at the moment it's consolidated. Direction-wise, I prefer because of the bigger trend being to the downside here, and this this being a sort of a, a bare flag. I'd prefer to be playing towards the downside at the moment still. But yeah, the pound has been trying to, uh, or being a bit more successful, I guess, in 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 retracing uh, some of its losses um, and could could continue in that vein at some point but for now uh, quite as I say quite difficult um, it's sitting in quite a tight range got an upside target there of uh, 152 or 151.99 somewhere in that region actually um, which it might just run up to quite quickly here but uh, I, 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 it's chopping at the moment it's very very difficult to really assess anything as I said, it's easier if it starts breaking down, and I would really prefer to just watch and wait for it. If it breaks down, watch for these lows to be taken out and uh, go with. Had have got sort of pr prior uh, support around these sort of levels here as well, so you just got to watch this sort of price action. But there's probably enough in it to uh, at least get us in part of trade and see if we can run it further. If it does rally to the upside beyond this level, well, yesterday's highs, as I said, uh, may provide a a target sort of area and that R1 uh, that comes with it. So that's the pound. Let's have a quick look at the euro dollar. Euro uh, took a bigger hit yesterday because of the action of the Swiss National Bank. It uh, really kicked kicked in and uh, saw quite a bit of damage on the on the euro pair. Um, it uh, rallied up most of it. It recovered most of the, the uh, sell off, uh, but then sold back off again. So it just shows the weakness that's sitting with the euro. Um, there was also suggestions that the the package uh, would need to be not 500 billion but 700 billion by an, another um, analyst out there which uh, all the time this is happening it's just sort of shocking the market as well so a bit of a double blow to the euro effectively um, where it sits now though um, it's in the bear flag again it's a bit easier on the downside for me because of the shape of what's happened here uh, than the pound, uh, we've got the potential upside target there of 116.62. Um, that may be uh, caught this morning. If that's caught, fine. Um, I'm not beyond that. Uh, it, it could rally back. It's, it's got a bit oversold in terms of what, in some respects. Uh, or it, it did get a bit oversold. It diverged at the lows um, uh, down here uh, relative to the. RSI there, so there, there was a bit of a sort of divergence on this hourly basis. Um, so possible targets up here. If it does get any traction and keep going, well, the 50 is an obvious uh, target, uh, which comes in just ooh, sort of badly drawn um, around those low, the prior lows there. Um, but uh, I think it could be a slow one today after yesterday's price action. Okay. Um, Let's just sorry, just moving on. Uh, Dolly M. There's very little uh, information due out this morning. Inflation, U.S. inflation comes out one thirty. It's not been a massive mover of late, but uh, it might create a bit more momentum um, with the potential. I don't think they'll change interest rates for any time soon, but the potential discussions of it at least. Okay, um, dolly yen. Uh, well, uh, the, the uh, yen actually um, uh, made some ground yesterday um, with all the price, all that action going on. Um, it uh, it sold off quite strongly. Um, it pushed up a little bit and then sold off again. So. Um, it, <laughs> at the moment with the lower highs lower lows to me the continuation may may be to the downside of this um 
let's just look at the dailies in a little bit more detail here we have got a potential bit of support if we do run down those prior lows there uh, beyond that well we're already down to the R1 uh, sorry S1 um, it could push down further even back down towards the S2 the 112 area um, whether we get any intervention at those sort of points I don't know but uh, uh, there's a potential at some point but for now um, it's still track, uh, effectively tracking down with a small short term bounce already hit its intraday target which I'd be looking for uh, it's posted an hourly bearish candle there the shooting star into that uh, level so if it starts rolling over again um, we could see uh, this early Asian session lows yesterday's lows uh, approached again so that's the preferred side any any significant rallies though um, and we could see this uh, these highs taken out which uh, um, probably possibly go with um, carefully as long as we all line aligned with momentum etc across the time frame so I'd look at that um, it's easier to run to the downside at the moment with the direction of the lower lows lower highs okay and finally sorry uh, sorry I'm just realizing what time um, time frames are going like here uh, Aussie also um, it wasn't badly affected yesterday managed to get up there hit the monthly pivots that's another stat out of the way here's possibly a little bit overstretched on some uh, time frames here um, it, it's uh, it, it, it did sell off quite quite a bit later afternoon but uh, since rallied again um, but uh, I'm looking at the daily 50 thinking well could push up for that and which is there is a possibility um, if it does break and um, push up higher it, it may be it certainly would be a target it has put in a series of higher lows hasn't yet really put a, a lower low in and it's uh it's it th this, this is where we are now is really the the decision sort of point here because if it breaks these lows here well then it's put lower high and if it can continue uh to the upside uh well we'll we'll be looking for the uh, r1 daily r1 area here and yesterday's highs as a target so if it starts making a move I'll, if I'll move with momentum look for an opportunity and and uh, uh, look for the upside there um, break of the lows here you may, I mean again uh, you could be drawing trend lines on here and looking for any any sell-off points here as I say on some time frames it has got a bit oversold maybe a bit uh, sorry overbought uh, maybe stretching it a little bit but um, looking at the hourlies it just looks very choppy at the moment uh, these days have been quite choppy but it's at least been moving um, this week in an upward direction so uh, looking at that mainly but uh, as I say break a break of this trend line and then I'll be looking towards the short side okay that's it for me hope you have a great day bye for now